second peter 3 7 the first judgment came by water what's the second judgment come by fire the holy ghost is god in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words my name is Andrew Hemstrott. Thank you for joining us. Is if this is your first time here, Jesus make sure you right. subscribe. If this isn't your first time here and Holy these Ghost messages God are blessing you, then consider becoming a partner with us. I'm going to be speaking on something tonight that is not very well liked. So make sure you like down below. <laughs> but also not believed and people don't like it and it's not believed and it's certainly not preached on mm -hmm. but there are many things you need to be exposed to first you can't believe it if you haven't been exposed to it so if nobody's preaching on it or nobody even embraced this revelation then you can't go there we are the bearers of judgment say we are, we are the, bearers the bearers of judgment, of judgment. now not everybody is you and i are who's that holy ghost worshipers i hope you're here i hope that you really are liking this acts chapter 5 verse 32 and we are witnesses of these things and so also is the holy ghost so who are the witnesses we are. we are and the holy ghost two witnesses right we are witnesses of these things and so also is the holy ghost and i said we are bearers of judgment yes but we're told not to judge people i'm not judging you but this will and it's a good thing judgments a good thing oh yeah oh yeah first Corinthians chapter 12 6 and there are diversities of operations but it is the same God which works all in all so this is a diversity of operations judgment mm -hmm. yes. but it's the same God that works all in all what God is that the Holy Ghost he's the God working all in all mm -hmm. verse 7 but the manifestation of the Spirit is given to every man to profit with all or for good and profit so even this operation judgment is ultimately for good and profit say the manifestation of the spirit the manifestation of the spirit judgment can we see that okay now people think that i have moved the overton window and the overton window is the window of acceptability things that have are are acceptable we've moved it we worship the Holy Ghost as God in the earth today that wasn't even in the window before we moved it to over here and I am moving it more and you may end up entirely off the graph if you don't keep up can you hear this mm -hmm. <laughs> pick up the pace I have many things to say things that I've not been able to say because it's difficult to get people to go where you're going you have to, if you want them to go you have to they have to come along right mm -hmm. and first you've got to be a holy ghost worshiper you've got to be solid in that say i worship, I worship. The, holy the holy ghost see because he's god in the earth today so you are worshiping god in the earth today get that straight you have to be solid in that and then you got to be solid in the way you walk with him which is by saying words these are things that you've got to be solid in if we're going to go to where we're going today all right this should be your reality 
that you live in every day every day every day say every day. every day you wake up in the morning is that another day yeah. that's an every day and and you walk with the Holy Ghost and you worship him in the earth every day are you here yeah. this is your reality you all right with us yep. John 16 verse 12 here's Jesus saying I have yet many things to say unto you but you cannot bear them now verse 13 how be it when he the spirit of truth is come he will guide you into all truth you couldn't bear it now but when he is come you'd be able to bear it you understand that's what he's saying yeah. say when he is come when he is come when who is come holy the holy ghost the spirit of truth has he come yes. then you should be able to bear some things that you couldn't bear before mm -hmm. does this make sense yep. so you can bear it now yes right now say right now. right now off in the future when you die and go to heaven is that what he's talking about no, no. no. Right, now. right now okay john chapter 16 verse 8 when he is come sounds like the same time right yep. he will reprove the world of sin and of righteousness and judgment, judgment. right there mm. verse 9 of sin because they believe not on me of righteousness because I go to my father and you see me no more of judgment because the prince of the world is judged so you've got he's going to reveal the sin the righteousness and the judgment say sin, sin. Righteousness, righteousness judgment, judgment. when when he is come now sin is not what you think it is in fact he said here when he has come he'll reprove the world of sin of righteousness judgment of sin because they believe not on me there's one sin what's the sin not believing on Jesus if you believe on Jesus then that takes care of all the rest of the sin see this is the good news and who's gonna show you that Holy Ghost when he has come right and then it goes of righteousness righteousness is not what you think it is because I can go to talk to most Christians and I'll tell them what righteousness is the righteousness of faith speaks and they're like what it righteousness of faith speaks what saith it the word that's righteousness righteousness is speaking sin is not believing on Jesus period mm -hmm. right righteousness is speaking in agreement with God are you getting this yeah. sin wasn't what you thought it was righteousness wasn't what you, th you thought it was judgment is not what you think it is and you can bear it when now now that he's hit with the Holy Ghost I can bear judgment all right this is good news because most of the church first of all they don't know what righteousness is some of them have a semi sort of idea about believing on Jesus and having their sins forgiven and removed right but most of them are not walking in righteousness by speaking the righteousness of faith and no one preaches on what I'm preaching on tonight judgment that you can walk in did he not say that when he is come he will reprove the world of sin and of righteousness and of judgment reprove the world of judgment he will prove judgment in the world now when will he do this now 
now no that's in the future after the seventh trump and three tribulations in this in the 16 horns that's not what it said are you here you reading the same bible i am he will prove judgment in the world and i read we started out who's the witness of this we are and the holy ghost what judgment judgment now and i'm telling you see because i say judgment and everybody's head just trips off this trail where they think what it judgment is a specific thing right and i'm telling you it's not what you think it is because we can walk in it now and are supposed to be walking in it now by the holy ghost same as we walk in freedom of sin same as we walk in righteousness by saying we walk in judgment now and it judges the world have i got your attention first timothy chapter 6 verse 17 charge them that are rich in this world that they be not high-minded nor trust in uncertain riches but in the living god right so we trust in and believe in the living god who gives us richly all things to enjoy is that good news yes. so we trust in the living god the holy ghost and he gives us richly all things to enjoy for this to be true i must have power and judgment in the earth the words of my mouth have to supersede all natural laws and powers supersede all demonic powers because if the devil or the world or anything else could hinder first timothy 6 17 then that's not true god giving me richly all things to enjoy for this to be true other things have to be true now do you remember jesus oftentimes the evil spirits would show up and they would say have you come to torment us before the time remember this mm -hmm. say before the, time. before the time so there must have been a time first corinthians chapter 6 mm -hmm. verse 2 do you not know that the saints will judge the world say the saints will judge, we'll judge. The, world. the world and if the world shall be judged by who you what the world shall be judged by you are you unworthy to judge the smallest matters he says the saints and he says you and he says the world is to be judged by you now unfortunately like every other powerful verse of scripture people put it off till you get to heaven but that's not the world being judged by you we knew that when the holy ghost comes he will prove the world he will prove reprove the world of judgment are you getting this do you not know no most people don't know who made you a judge over us I hope you're getting this and a lot of things need to take take your old thinking and throw it in the trash so that we can build something new that you can walk in Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 9 then the Lord put forth his hand and touched my mouth and the Lord said unto me behold i have put my words in your mouth do we know anything about that yeah we know that that's how we walk with god in the earth today is by putting his words in our mouth which means we're saying them behold i've put my words in your mouth verse 10 see i have this day set thee this day set thee once his words are in your mouth he has this day set thee 
over say over. over over the nations and over the kingdoms to root out and to pull down and to destroy and to throw down to build and to plant many things need to be thrown down torn down and destroyed yeah. so that we can build and plant and how does this happen God's Word in our mouth does that sound like judgment mm -hmm. that sounds like judgment to me these things are being revealed in these last days I spoke on Enoch being a type of the last day church and we know that Enoch's experience being translated was not a one-time experience he went up and came back he went up did some stuff came back he went up and came back and then he finally went up and didn't come back yet but each time he entered he returned with more power and more authority and then of course we anticipate Jesus return with 10,000 of the Saints which is the prophecy of Enoch where was Enoch going when he went up and came back Daniel chapter 4 and verse 26 thy kingdom shall be sure unto thee after that thou shalt have known that the heavens do rule when was the kingdom going to be sure after. after he knew that the heavens do rule it's a specific kind of knowledge where was this knowledge acquired specifically by Enoch this isn't talking about Enoch but where did Enoch acquire that same knowledge that the heavens do rule by going there and coming back by going there and coming back first Peter chapter 4 verse 17 for the time for the time is come that judgment must begin at the house of God and if it first begin at us what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of God here it says judgment must what begin everybody's putting judgment off till the return of Jesus is that what he said no. oh for the time shall come when Jesus returns that judgment will be at the house of God and other people too no that's not what he said for the time is come that judgment must begin other translations say with the house of God we are the beginning are, who's the house of God the saints the church we are the house of God what God Holy Ghost. the Holy Ghost who came who came when revealed sin righteousness and judgment we are the house of God and judgment must begin with us we are the beginning of judgment say we, we. are the beginning, the beginning. of judgment well I don't want to believe that I don't want to receive it I don't want to hear it no kidding because you're weak we are the beginning of judgment what shall the end be we have some good ideas about what the end shall be don't we hey if you don't like it that's fine I'm preaching for me I know that my future is different than most people's future my future is fire say my future, my future is fire, is fire. Second Peter 3 7 the first judgment came by water what's the second judgment come by fire. Fire. fire this begins where with you in you and with you we are the bearers of judgment get with the program or you're gonna be left behind moving the Overton window 
judgment begins with the house of God we begin it this feels better than I think you think it is say we begin it we begin it have you ever heard this before you have misinterpreted that verse of scripture thinking that oh that that just means that God will judge us first no we begin it say we, we are, the are the beginning of judgment, of judgment in, the in the earth you've misinterpreted it is that possible yeah because up until now you haven't even worshiped the Holy Ghost as God and everything changes when you begin doing that sin righteousness judgment mm -hmm. oh we don't want to go on to that yes you do listen you will not be able to fulfill what we are called to fulfill in the earth without embracing the judgment that comes with the Holy Ghost it judges the earth what know you not that the Saints you are supposed to judge the earth we increasingly because it's just the beginning you understand that when you begin something then you increase in it we increasingly acquire and exercise power and judgment now unto the end increasing well we haven't been doing it I know because it's not been preached we haven't been believing it we haven't been embracing it and walking in it well this is not the gospel I was taught I know you also have not been worshiping the Holy Ghost and walking with him in the earth mm -hmm. therefore there were a lot of things that couldn't be said to you but we can bear it now we can bear it now Daniel chapter 7 verse 26 but the judgment shall sit and they shall take away his dominion to consume and destroy it unto the end not after the end unto the end ever increasing verse 27 and the kingdom and dominion and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven where is that on the earth shall be given to the people of the saints of the Most High whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom and all dominions shall serve and obey him verse 28 hitherto is the end of the matter that's how it ends the people of the Saints consuming and destroying the other kingdom what's that called judgment the judgment shall sit who causes you to bear judgment the Holy Ghost we can bear this now because we worship him and walk with him as God in the earth today the judgment shall sit they say they they, they shall take away his dominion who shall well hopefully when the angels come back they'll take away his dominion. that's not what this said they the they is you you are they they shall take away and destroy it unto the end unto going up unto the end yeah. righteousness and judgment are a zero-sum game winner take all are you playing I have my doubts concerning some of you are you going with me or staying where you're at some are unwilling to change that much I can't see myself doing it I know you need to change we're only at the beginning of it change is the only constant this is the beginning judgment must begin now John the Baptist he said of Jesus are you the one or do we look for another there are watchers looking at you wondering about you are you the one that's gonna go on or do we look for another 
the congregation of the righteous shall appear and sinners shall be judged when does this happen now when the Holy Ghost comes I tell you you've got you've got all of this old revelation that came to you a long time ago and you need to weed it out or you can't go here this is different say this is different, this is different. when have you ever heard you're supposed to be walking in judgment when the Holy Ghost comes mm. Joel chapter 2 verse 1 blow ye the trumpet in Zion sound an alarm in my holy mountain let all the inhabitants of the land tremble for the day of the Lord comes and it is nigh at hand a great people and strong say a great people, great people. and strong. strong there has not been ever the like so up until this point there's never been people like this in any time you have to enter into something that nobody else has entered into there's never been anyone like you neither shall be any more after it that sounds like the last bunch even to the years of many generations verse 3 a fire is that what your Bible says a fire devours before them in front of them and behind them a flame burns that means if before them a fire is devouring and behind them a flame burns where are they they're in the fire, in the, fire. the land is as the Garden of Eden before them they're going to the perfection of God the Garden of Eden and before and behind them a desolate wilderness yea, and nothing shall escape them judgment verse 11 the Lord shall utter his voice before his army for his camp is very great and he is strong that executes his word his word spoken for the day of the Lord is great and very terrible and who can abide it who can abide it you can abide it you can bear it you couldn't bear it then but you can bear it now who can abide it you can abide it we live here this is our destiny this is our call to be in the fire of God and to abide here worship the Holy Ghost be converted be ye transformed go from one glory to another glory the last judgment is fire and we are the beginning of it thank you Holy Ghost for blessing these people that they have had ears to hear and the fires beginning to kindle on the inside of them and they're seeing that this last day is not what they thought it was before but they are to come to the forefront and be a great part of the harvest of the earth and the judgment of God which shall be worldwide and then shall the Lord Jesus return in Jesus name amen. amen if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost I worship God you I'm today. walking with you as God in the earth today all things are mine and I begin to walk in them and consume them in Jesus name amen